As a photographer, nothing makes me happier than when I arrive for a shoot at a beautiful location and the sky is full of pretty clouds that glow a lovely orange in the sunset. Unfortunately, the sky doesn't always cooperate. Thankfully, Photoshop has some awesome tools that allow for boring skies to easily be replaced into something far more interesting. Today, I'm going to go and test that feature out. For the first image here, I chose to use a speckled cloud sky with a nice sunrise vibe to match the lighting of the original photo. I made sure the edge was softer so that the transition between the original and the sky is less harsh. I also adjusted the temperature and the brightness to match the exposure of the original photo. I had to scale up the sky a little bit too so that the clouds seemed to be the right size relative to the other elements. And once I'd done the sky replacement, I also added a hue saturation effect to pull out the blue color because it was just a bit too saturated, which is a dead giveaway that the sky is a different image. The final image looks pretty cool though with a much nicer sky than before. This next image was shot at sunrise too. I picked a sky with larger, more glowing clouds to really match the light. And once again, I adjusted the temperature and the brightness to match the original and I faded the edge out a lot. I found that the fade didn't work as well near the left mountain range as the trees create a more detailed edge line that it's sort of hard for the software to understand the true edge of. But I still think the final image looks great. The sky replacement feature actually allows you to use a sky for one of your own images too. So I took the sky from a mountain biking shot I have lying around and I used it in this image here. I had to adjust the temperature and brightness a lot to match, but it's a far more interesting sky than the original. I also had to do a quick color balance to add the blue into the shadows so that it matches the original image. This shot here proved a little bit tricky because the tree line makes the edge between the sky and the foreground much more detailed, rather than just a nice clear separation as it would be if it was say a horizon or a mountain. It was clear that the software had some trouble with this, but the result still seems usable. Another problem with this image is that the sky is reflected in the water. So you can tell that the sky has been changed because the reflection in the water doesn't match the sky. For this last image, I was afraid that it wouldn't work as well because the light is far more direct and the sun plays a much larger part in this image. However, I was surprised at how well a sky replacement did. I found a sky image that had the sun setting in it, and this really worked to match the light and the sun is conveniently hidden behind Henry in the composition, so no one will really know that the light isn't technically coming from the right place. Some quick adjustments and I think it looks so much better. This sky replacement feature is a real lifesaver when the sky just doesn't play ball on shoot days. I love some of the images that I can create using it, and if nothing else, this practice has made me 1% better than yesterday.